Realism and Reality The Novel and Society in India by Meenakshi Mukherjee Meenakshi Mukherjee Meenakshi Mukherjee, an Indian writer was born on August 3, 1937. Received her education from well-off universities. Spent lot of her life in teaching English literature and critical theory. Taught at colleges in Putna, Pun, University of Delhi, University of Hyderabad and Jawaharlal University. Wrote plenty of books with the themes of post-colonialism, linguistic barriers, and translation, feminist perspectives and the idea of Indianness. Her work in Indian for All Seasons, a biography of historian R.C. Dutt won the Sahitya Academy Award. Died on September 16, 2009. Realism and Reality The Novel and Society in India Published in the year 1994 It is a commentary on the Indian regional novel. Expresses the demands of Western realism with the representation of indigenous realities. Examines the emergence of the novel in India during the mid-19th and early 20th century. Summary The author indicates the factors that shaped the growth of novel in the mid-19th century. The novel survived through constant mutation influenced by the political and social situation of a colonized country. In India the first crop of novel appeared in Bengali and Marathi a generation after Macaulay's educational minutes. As novel is the second youngest genre, there was a critical and philosophical speculation about its origin in the West. Formal realism reflected a basic shift in man's view of reality. One theory states that the rise of this genre is due to the growth of the modern capitalism. Another theory states that the emergence of the idea of individualism is a factor for developing this genre. These theories cannot be considered in India and other nations as the culture and historical context is different. Banabhata's Kadambari was written in Sanskrit in the 7th century. The tales of Genji, Don Quixote were written in the pre-industrial era and so more than two and a half centuries have elapsed in recognizing the novel as a distinct genre. So it is fair to distinguish novel from the earlier forms of narratives. In the pre-novel narratives the story had stories within the stories which are stung together with the central narrative. The writer quotes the example from Kadambari. The consciousness of the time and space is a special feature of the novelist's apprehension of reality. In the pre-novels, instead of dealing with the moral varieties of life the novelists depict situations on spatial and temporal axes, employing realism as human reality. A novel is bound by its historical and geographical coordinates and so a novel crosses the frontiers of culture easily. The characterization of a genre as Northrop Fry observes, is a reflection of Jung's Libodo, Anima, and Shadow respectively. Unlike other genres the characters in the novels are required to be convincing in the context of a given time and culture. In the 19th century the educated Indians got a chance to study English literature. The plot of the novels of Scott, Thackeray, and Dickens were totally different from the society Indians knew or lived in. The early novels in India were written in urban areas by the English-educated native peoples. They have not presented the reality of mid-19th century Indian life but presented the realist mode learnt from the Victorian novel. So it was not easy to distinguish the fictional mode as the life represented was unfamiliar. The picaresque tradition presented the protagonist to shape his own destiny to some extent. In India the novelists had to present a tradition-bound society where the life of the protagonist is mapped by his family, community, and caste. Thus the early novelists had to cope up with what they have learned from alien literature and the reality in the Indian society. The writer indicates two works, Manjugbospa and Indoleka where the writers state that they have produced the work by a professed adaptation of Victorian novel. The periodical emergence of dynamic view of time and structure formulated the narrative structure. The realism as a characteristic technique of the novel from Defoe to Balzac reflects a particular worldview at a certain phase in human history. Indian tradition did not have any of the variety of realism because it was based on the view of reality. The early generation English educated Indian writers' novels, Rasselas, and The Vicar of Wakefield emphasized moral qualities rather than narrated amoral adventures. Even the religions can influence the genres. As stated by Edward said there are no novel forms in the Arabic language until the present century. 
Modern 20th century writers often not considered the separation between literary genres. Svetun Todorov observes the function of genre as the expectations of the readers and models of writing for authors. In India, though Yamuna Pariyatan and Alalurk Bharadilal were in the novel form they were not recognized as the new genre. In 1862 Budeb Mukhopadhyay used the word Upanyas in Bengali which can be considered to be the synonym of novel. In Marathi the word used for novel is Kadambari. In Urdu Ratan Nath Sharshar called his unprecedented Urdu fiction Pasana Ayazat as naval. In Gujarati adapted the term was stated as naval Katha. Tamil, Malayalam and Telugu borrowed the English term. The thematic aspirations of early Indian English novels were same as the English novels. The English writers such as Wilkie Collins, Disraeli and Reynolds were most often translated into Indian languages. The motivating impulse of early writers of fiction varied as in Shah Ali Khan has written Rani Ketaki Ki Kabam in a language which is neither Urdu nor local dialect of Hindi. The first Telugu novel was written as a response to Lord Mayo's announcement of a prize for prose fiction. Most of the novels were written on seeking rewards from the British officials and they too helped by translating the works. Though writings were produced in India the novel has not attained its development as expected. There was a sudden spurt of long narrative fiction in most of the Indian languages. It consists of the novel of the purpose, the merging of historical and supernatural fiction and realistic fiction. Before the emergence of this genre there was prose form which has taken its form in India. Considering the development of novel in India the colonial situation has taken absolute superiority of everything published in English. This made the novelists of 19th century to have a model of British Victorian novel. Thus the novel in India which began under the English influence began to acquire its own distinctive character. For more videos, like, share, subscribe. Thank you.